It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu, right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Real Madrid taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, I hope you are as excited as me to start the Champions League. Always a special atmosphere. Both teams will be hoping for a long journey, or it may be very, very short. We're about to find out. expect to be going all the way to the final but they never seem to take the group stage for granted no they don't Derek you've got to go through this group stage in order to get to the latter stage of the competition and then win it they expect to win it that's the sort of football club they are there's nothing really I don't like about this team everything about them none more so than they played in my testimonial back in the early 90s and well, that was very good of them I know and let's dissect the Real Madrid side Thibaut Courtois, the Belgian, will be in goal. Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane at the back. Aidan Azar starts with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And leading the line today is Karim Benzema. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa is given the green light in goal. Andreas Christensen plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Jorginho plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And Olivier Giroud is given the vote of confidence in attack. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. This is Sergio Ramos. The ball with Luka Modric. Benzema. Modric. Does appear to be in control. Luka Modric. Attending to his defensive chores. An attempt like that. Never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. Jorginho. Conte now. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Cross delivered by Pedro. He succeeds in clearing it. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. This is Varane. And the Croatian, Luka Modric, will try to run the game from his central midfield position. How successful do you think he'll be? Well, I call him the creator. He gets on the ball and he makes things happen. If there's a wonderfully weighted pass. Luka Modric at the ready. Not messing around with that clearance. It's with Giroud. The ball with Luka Modric. Benzema. Not a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Short pass, this could be interesting. Tremendously strong in the tackle. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Marcelo. Here's Carvajal. Karim Benzema. Run it magnificently and intercepted.
Only natural that the attack should go through Willian. Marcus Alonso. Giroud. And he got to it fairly easily. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. Conte. Here's William. Wonderful chance. And Ramos gets in the way. Dealt with easily by Courtois. Marcus Alonso. And he was in the right place to intercept. In full control of the ball here. Others in the vicinity. Modric. Less than he takes aim and a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort, he smashed it. away by Chelsea a complete miscue by the goalkeeper will there be a price to pay not the easiest of situations for the keeper And he's fired over the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. And a strong tackle. It's with William. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Pedro. It's a promising attack launched by William and options in the centre. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Here's Kovacic. Giroud and return to Conte. Well, the tackle vivacious from Varane. Useful looking ball. intervention and that is that half time here in the Spanish capital And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Well, Real Madrid possession stats are brilliant, but really possession doesn't score your goals. You need to be a little bit more forceful in front of goal. They need to get the shots away. Benzema, they could nudge in front. A really top-notch piece of defending. Well, in terms of Luka Modric, he sets high standards for himself. Should he be playing better football than he has been? Well, it's not been a great first half of football as far as he's concerned. He seemed a little bit sluggish to me, Derek. Easy for the back line to pick him up. Needs more movement. And taken away from Azar. A bit scruffy with the ball, Kovacic.
And it's a measured pass for Pedro. Real Madrid getting the throw in. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. This is Kroos. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Freddy looking comfortable with the ball at his feet as he runs Olivier Giroud. Must score! Just found wanting in terms of the finish then. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Ramos Karim Benzema cut out superbly by Kovacic Azar Tony Kroos aimed towards Marco Asensio what can he do from here delivering it into the box Really, that would be neat and drink to most goalkeepers. Yeah, goalkeeper fully in control there. Look at Modric. You know what? He's going to be annoyed with himself given the position he was in, Lee. Well, yeah, they worked it really well, didn't he? He's got in a position to score and not really took advantage of that. Pulisic and a throw in forthcoming Casemiro Tony Kroos, Benzema, now are they going to forge ahead, going for power there, but just too much elevation on the short lead, yeah over the bar Derek with pace, he's a little unlucky, Jorginho, only 10 minutes remaining here, Mateo Kovacic, in possession Marcelo, Azar on the ball, Karim Benzema, Aidan Azar, here's Ramos, Marcelo, inside the last five minutes and nil-nil is still the situation. Abraham. So a throw in to Chelsea. Christensen. Aspili Quesa. Conte. And they are on the move again. And Conte might take it on. Referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Time is running out for a Real winner. The crowd know that. The players are pushing for it, that's for sure. Rudiger has it. Marcos Alonso. 
The end of the story tonight, at any rate, and hardly the perfect start for Real Madrid. They'll feel that two points have been frittered away in their opening game. Well, it's not ideal. You can drop points here and there in the group stages, but not too many. A little bit more emphasis on trying to gain three points in game two. The manager will be pushing that point home to the players. 